All right, guys, uh, we are going to be taking a look at the new battle rush today. Uh, so this is a fairly simple event. So I think there shouldn't be too much problem unless you are a starting out new player. Don't really have a lot of ERs going on. So we will definitely break through the break down the stage. All right, we're going to actually take on the stages uh, in this video as well. So there are a total of uh, six different battles to go through. So there's one to five and then there is the extra stage. Uh, the main difference uh, by clearing the extra stage, we are getting a title right there. Uh, the title is definitely more of like a flex this time around. We are getting Haman. So I mean, like I, I think people are saying it's a pretty uh, high level as far as enemy so i don't know yet we are gonna go through them so three thousand diamonds up to complete a batch of five so that is a pretty nice you know that's pretty much what we are expecting from like a weekly event anyway so one free multi summon uh there are also some you know hidden feature or hidden reward as well uh custom tickets those are always gonna be nice and then we have a you are in here as not this is not your this is the sr in here as well so that's pretty cool um so i think every stages we are getting more yep that's that's pretty nice yeah i like to, i like to see that uh so how this actually works if we go to the how to play um so over one of those two that has type advantage so this time around uh the enemy lineup are all yellow so purple is gonna be the best go-to but honestly purple is just not that broad of a of a i guess element right now uh unless you don't like unless you have like this uh, sisaki like the blue destiny unit you know, ones or even like the newest banshee then you guys should be in good hands but if you guys are like me uh don't really have a lot of good options for purple uh you might just have to dip into any of the other following element because um yellow and purple they're both tight neutral to uh, red green and blue so it doesn't really matter all that much right uh so the hp does kind of dip like uh, carry over so if you start taking a lot of damage early on uh just kind of be careful that when you hop into the later stages you may not have a much uh, hp to leverage around so do keep that in mind and if you do run out of timer uh it is considered you know <laughs> the whole squad is dead so that's kind of unfortunate but there is also a reset button to recover your hp once per day so keep that in mind and then the spectacular reward they call it okay yes yeah, not bad and the title so let's kind of get through them um so i think in the early phases i'm not really going to be using any of the op unit like the uh quote unquote limited unit so i'm just gonna build my regular squad first um i guess i can just start out on like a new tab in here like probably on this one uh, i'm gonna build the team first and then we will kind of go in and see how bad or how easy it is all right so here is a team without any of the limited suits so we have eskandam uh, borgazelas mark two uh, rigazi we have the hamahama and then a victory so uh it's not bad so equipment wise we have the following for uh, eskandam and then for these two these are two, these two right here or these three are my support uh debuffing and then this one is directly buffing the eskandam uh this one whoops and this one is just simply to give me more hp i'm probably going to change this one to more of like a dps oriented one like um, i can probably slap on i don't know, like this one for example i think the battle may or may not exceed more than 30 seconds as we do go into the uh, later stages so it is not bad to use this one right away so we have that uh, other than that victory i also do have it on the hp bench because a uh, victory uh it's, it's going to be good for like a long term fight as well so if we do have to go to you know a little bit more towards the timer i think it should be fine uh that's the setup so i think we can hop in now and see how it goes all right so i don't think i need to really need to deploy this any other way uh first stage is only like what level 10 for the enemy so are they actually giving me trouble i mean i, I am putting them on speed but uh okay we are done shouldn't sh I, I mean like technically speaking it shouldn't even be hard until we get down to like the like the exit stage so i'm just gonna keep going now and then we will see how it goes all right, so battle to the enemy's uh, HP or the level is already at 50. And oh, wow, all of them are actually ace. Uh, all right, sure. Um, So ground battle, I, I mean, like, I think we should be fine. Oh, okay. 
Uh, once we check down, I feel like the yeah, new gun number should be should be in good hands, but man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are done. It's not bad. It's not bad. All right, battle three uh, enemy level are now at a hundred, so things are starting to get a little bit crazy. I feel like is it, or is it still pretty easy? Let's see. Um, I feel like Mark 2 is gonna start taking. Yeah, Mark 2 is taking a lot of damage already. So, but I'm mean, still fine. We are still bound doing a problem. I don't even think I have to use any EX skill as of yet. Okay, no, I, we, we did <laughs> on a uh, victory. We did. But okay, that was still pretty easy. So maybe level four, battle four, should provide us with some difficulty. Who knows? All right, so battle four. Uh, I think now the enemies are up to 125 in this four set level. But I don't really think it matters a whole lot. So we are just gonna. We are just gonna continue through, so um, so far so good, right? Uh, oh, Mark Two is about to uh, is leaking pretty hard. Like, <laughs> if we only we have a healer in the team, right? Right? <laughs> Should have brought new Gundam for the healing. All that, all that actually could have worked just so that we can save the attempt. Yeah, that <laughs> that will be a fun trick to use. Oh yeah, or we can use the gym to recover HP every time we we hop in. Should have done that. All right, so level five. I think now the enemies are at like what 150. I mean, like, okay. I think Mark Two, we know it's gonna die right out of the bat. So, um, if we don't make it out alive in this one, like I, I mean, like let's say, um, so far, I mean, everyone HP has uh, maintained fairly well. No problem. Eskandem is uh, doing the work so far. Nice. We love to see that. Um, and then, yeah, yeah we have a uh, Hamahama obviously carrying us with those, uh, you know, Giga attacks. Uh, I, I think mostly is the uh, ELE EX skill definitely came through, so it's not bad. Alright, I guess we can move on to the extra stage. <laughs> Alright, so we are making a midway pit stop because uh, we need to kind of change up to a unit. So I replaced Mark II and then Hamahama. With the uh, appropriate coloring, so we now have the uh, four armor again on the boat, and then a gym for the healing. So I think with the setup, I think we should be totally fine now. Uh, given the fact that my other unit hasn't really taken a whole lot of damage, but I am a little bit worried about I guess Eskandem. Uh, Eskandem probably has like what, roughly about sixty to seventy percent HP remaining. But uh, we will definitely see the enemy line for this. A uh, specific setup is now 160. All right, but I, I mean, like, honestly speaking, I don't think it means a whole lot anyway. So we shall see. Uh, probably gonna put my attention on, um, I guess, Dunderbolt. I just want to see <laughs> what we can actually do here. Um, so far, we're not, we're not really taking out. Oh, that's gonna this. Oh, that's gonna die. Oh, wow. Okay. So I mean like it's pretty much just gonna be all up to Jim providing the support as needed. Uh, okay, yeah, I think we are, we are are we not gonna make it? Yeah, it's kinda it's kinda rough man. Okay. Alright. I think I think this one this one was definitely pretty rough because starting out with like, you know, uh, with Eskinum not having that much HP to begin with was rough. But I mean like we can always be set because the enemy right now is gonna <clears throat> pretty much have the, the same amount of HP that you know, we finish off with. So even if we don't finish off right here, I think we should still buy I wanna say. But I mean gun uh, gun the ball is just, you know, was saying it really nice for sure and we were uh, consistently healing, so that was that was pretty good for sure. But uh, obviously we couldn't make it, so uh we are gonna reset to use our first daily reset. And then, because last time, I didn't really check to see if we could reset the unit that's not currently on the roster. Uh, meaning Mark 2 and then uh, the other one. So I am going to see... Yeah, it's going to reset all MS. So I do assume uh, whatever I had on my back pocket, it should have actually you know, reset as well. We can check that right now. Um, yep. Yep, it did. 
So I think the best practice for you guys, if you guys are playing this, um, probably try to use as many units as you guys can. Like try to filter into all your best unit first, and then if you do die at the last minute, then use the recovery, like restore all HP, because that's how you probably use the most out of it. But uh, if you guys don't really care about that, um, you guys can just probably reset anytime you want. I would say. Uh, but this around we will probably mm, I want to say probably put it in like another tank so I think this around we'll probably take out mark 2 or not mark 2 the Rekazi I'm gonna put in another tank um, because I feel like I, I, I need I need another one so we'll do that I'm gonna put in uh, Gato over there for the uh, for the tank right yep that should be fine yellow but we don't have yellow obviously uh, but I think this one should be fine uh, I think two tanks probably is a, a good setup because we can have, you know, two uh, unit up front that's able to take all the hits and then just kind of distract them while we are doing attacking for the other units. So we'll probably do this. I think that's a, that's a good setup right here. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, if we don't finish this round, I mean, like, what do, what, what do we do? Like, do we just, I don't know. <laughs> Do I start using my victory or not victory? Do I just start using my uh, new Gundam like uh, <laughs> Sabi or Zeta? I, I probably can do that. You probably can. All right, that healing is coming in clutch. Oh, what? Who's healing on their team? I didn't. I didn't really see the roster. I mean, there has to be a unit that we want to take down first. I want to say there has to be, but I'm not. I didn't really pay attention to that, so that's definitely my bad. Uh, but I'm pretty sure there's like a unit that's healing on their team that we should have we should have taken down. Yep, 100% my fault because I'm, I messed that up. Uh, yeah, was it? Oh, it's probably Banshee with the with the sail of healing, huh? Um, but I mean, like in this situation, you guys probably can just clear this. Not you guys can probably split it into multiple days to complete it. Uh, there's definitely no immediate need to like, oh, I gotta complete this on day one, well, not PS. By the time you complete stage 5, you're getting all the rewards ready, so, I mean, like, there's definitely no need to rush through. Um, I mean, like, so far, we are hanging through pretty good, yeah. I think right now, the only thing I'm worried about is the timer, but so far, like, victory is holding on better than I thought, which is surprising, alright? Definitely surprising. No, we just lost, man. We just completely lost. Wow. All right, I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna bring in the boys now. Uh, I'm gonna bring in the limited suits. So I'm gonna go right back. I'm gonna make the team, and then we're gonna hop back in. All right. So this around, I brought in my special force because uh, we trying to clear this. All right. <laughs> we are trying to clear this. So we already uh, finished off one enemy. So we have uh, how many left to do? We got like. Five more to go. So what's this? Oh, wow! A lot of a lot of <laughs> mid lane. So we're gonna do this actually. Um, yeah, we will just do this because uh, putting putting a Sasabi up front is obviously not a, a bad idea because we can obviously do a lot of evading if if he wants to. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> you guys are seeing Sasabi is going ham. So Sasabi in this situation is obviously pretty good to use because uh, there are a lot of opportunity where Sasabi is able to evade which equal higher damage so we're definitely seeing that as we are literally losing power. Nice, that's nice because I think we only have one enemy left to, to deal with so I mean like I, I, I guess so Victory is just gonna go in and just finish the job. Um, but as always if you guys don't have the limited suit it's totally fine because we have like a good 14 days to complete this so you don't even have to complete this in day one all right so you guys can you know every day do the reset and then just slowly chip down the hp if you guys are struggling or whatnot and do definitely bring a tank uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure most people should have the uh four American in the boat in their uh in the procession so i think that's definitely the first you know i'll put onto the roster and then try to put in like another tank that would be able to survive because you guys can see 
I put in that uh, Zook or the Zok and we were we were pretty much surviving for a good good minute so uh, but yeah we completed it uh, we are now able to claim um, our reward so that's pretty good 3,000 diamonds uh, 1210 of the you know, your custom ticket so that is enough to fully um, bump up a unit to custom level 10 so that's pretty good and then we have this unit which is going to be complete, uh, completely maxed out for the potential at least and then we have our new title know your place um other than that hopefully you guys are able to complete um your battle rush with any time and manner uh with that said i'll be catching you guys all on the next one